All right, and we have unlocked Luminaire and Genevieve. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and do Polis Replica. So this is the third uh, DLC that they released, which is basically a collaboration with Among Us. Whether or not you like the game, uh, can't deny the cultural impact it had on us for a year or two. <laughs> Um, we're not going to do inverse. Uh, let's just do Arcanas. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, Requiem actually would be a good one to start off with. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the character that we just unlocked. Um, hmm, I want to go with something different. You know, we haven't done Magic Wand in so long. I I generally don't bother with Magic Wand just because it's not... I find other weapons to be far better. Um, go into Sakura. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay. Ooh. There, and there's a lot going on on this map. Um, we will first focus on just getting some levels. And then we'll go ahead and kind of explore a bit. Yep. Let's definitely go whip. Uh, I don't know what just happened there, but I'm guessing I picked up something. Uh, these are crates. I can't go through those. Okay. I think it said that this was a 30 minute map, which is probably good. Um, I feel like a lot of the DLCs have 30 minute maps. I also like the more sci-fi elements of this, something we really haven't seen much in this game. You know what, let's go fire one. Why not? We'll go all magic type of run. Well, not all magic. Obviously, we're doing the whips as well, but. Um, da -da -da -da. I don't know. I didn't read what this character's special ability is, but. I imagine she's pretty good if, I mean, if she saved you from the monstrosity that we saw at the very end of the, uh, the last, I guess, segment, maybe? I don't know. I, I'm usually a fan of making certain uh, a part dedicated to a certain character, um, but obviously we might have to make an exception depending upon how long these are, because I know, hmm, I'm gonna re-roll this, okay, I was kind of hoping for something different, but I guess we'll go silver one, what do we need, so we need hollow heart, uh, empty tome, Spinach, Fumarola, and the XP crowns. We need five different things. Are any of those on the map at the moment? It does not look like it, so I guess we're just going to have to kind of hope that we find what we're looking for. Since the game doesn't really want to give me the passive items <laughs> right now. Kill the bats. Let's 
So I don't really know, like, if there's any sort of special gimmicks for this map. Yep, let's go Pumarola. Not a huge fan of going Pumarola this early, but... I'm generally trying to avoid going Pumarola if I can. I think we want to go Duplicator. I know it won't... Well, we could probably get the Lightning Ring after we uh, evolve the whips. What is that? What are these? No! <laughs> they tricked me! <laughs> At first I thought they were like food or something. I mean, that's, uh, that was probably the intention. Thankfully, these things are giving a crap ton of uh, XP. Let's definitely go... Duplicator, because Duplicator is great, and you might as well try and take it as quickly as possible so that it goes, you get it out of your, uh, out of the rotation. Um, I might as well take some of these. We can't evolve them with these chests anyways, so, or at least I don't think we can. I don't know, it's kind of weird, because it happened for us in one of the previous maps that we were able to actually evolve something before the 10-minute mark. Which I thought wasn't supposed to happen anymore. Like, it used to way back in the day. Or, way back in the day. Uh, around the time the game actually started. Because I'm pretty sure that's happened to me before. I really wish I had a track orb. <laughs> nice. Okay. I think we're probably safe enough to go ahead and start exploring. Okay, let's think about this. So, we still need Empty Tome and... Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think we are... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I guess maybe we need to head in that direction since we haven't been doing much. Yeah, it looks like we have to go that way. <laughs> there, there's a countdown, so... Um, it would actually be really great to get the map as quickly as possible. These guys are definitely a little tougher now. It's a good thing that we went and got a bunch of upgrades beforehand. We're pretty close. Need to get in there. How do we get in there? Get in there fast enough. No! <laughs> we went the wrong way. Ow. <laughs> Running into that thing. Okay. Um. Hopefully this doesn't just game us over. I, I literally have no clue what's going to happen here. We don't step on that button. Okay. Of course. Here, Here's the door. <laughs> I'm a little stressed now. <laughs> uh. Whew. Um, I mean, still a little early, I suppose. Ooh. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take that. Five chest. I will gladly take that. Okay. Excellent. 
Let's take that health. Hey, little guy. Mini scientist. Might occasionally throw science at the enemies. Or he'll screw you over. Oh, shoot. That was a passive item. I... I did not realize that that was going to be a passive item. I, I interpreted that as a weapon. I, and I guess that's fine. Of all the things, the, uh, the magic wand is probably the least <laughs> impactful. Okay. Um... We're not too far away from the map. I think we should make that our priority. Uh, because that will make this heck of a lot easier. For navigating. Uh, I was bamboozled again. Ow. Can I just walk through this wall? Is the wall an imposter as well? Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I mean, at this point, magic wand doesn't really matter. It must act like a screen nuke every time you pick up, or every time you, like, level up it. Ooh! Okay, game. I, I see you, game. Two five chests in a row. Wow. Uh, um... We might as well go Pumarola. So the reason why I was wanting to go Pumarola is so that we can evolve the wand a little faster. Yeah, now you see why I want to uh, get this map so badly. <laughs> Gonna make this a heck of a lot easier to navigate. There we go. Excellent. We now have the map. Okay. So I see something to the south of us. And obviously there's something to the... Oh, 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 no, 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 don't do that. Um, we're already all the way leveled up uh, with the orb thing, so we might as well go for the XP crown. Again, XP crown, if you're going to take it, try and take it early, because it's going to mean you will uh, you'll get more benefit out of it. Then if you take it later. Okay, so at this point, it's just a matter of who do we want to go and get first. I feel like going to the left would be better and then circling around up until we get to that beacon thing. is probably the way to go. So, allegedly offers better moral support. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> One of these things is going to kill us, right? Like, that that's how this is going to work. Alright, let's 
focus on trying to get our XP crown leveled up. So we can evolve. Excellent. Let's just wait until the 10 minute mark. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. Unfortunately, that... Oh. Where is it? It said it was in this room, so I was like... Go ahead, grab this. Are these, like, all five chests? Nice! Okay. Alright, so that's our evolved weapon. Okay, why don't we go actually go to the Okay. I, I will say I do like this uh this final smash that she has. <laughs> um, but it is visually very distracting. Don't get me wrong, it's cool to look at, but it is visually very distracting. Hey, look at that. Mini shapeshifter. Might occasionally fling leftover body parts at enemies. Pleasant. <laughs> okay. Okay, so is there actually a way in from this side? It doesn't look like it. Unless, maybe we have to go all the way up first. Or, no, oh, okay, uh, well, okay, yes, there is. It's, it's a little hard to tell from just the map. Let's take Magic Wand just to get it out of the rotation. Take whip. Take whip. Take whip. Take whip. <laughs> what is this? I was going to say, can I not pick it up? Um, restores HP based on the amount, on amount and recovery. Okay. Oh, and that's a weapon slot? Interesting. Okay, so that looks to be everything. Let's go ahead and get this Arcana chest. I'm going to... Spend all of our rerolls to find this one. I'm actually um, okay. Never mind. I don't want to do that because that feels like it would just be a little too broken. And I want to get the. I want to at least get the little Among Us guys legitimately the first time. I kind of figured they were going to be like the item items. Uh, where you can't actually summon them at all. At least the first time. Maybe we'll do it for the third Arcana, uh, just so that we can gather all of this XP that is just kind of laying on the ground. Because we even have a couple chests that are just kind of laying around that we need to get. So let's make it a priority to get all the little guys first. And then we'll try and get that last arcana. Hopefully I didn't, like, accidentally use all of my skips. <laughs> uh, how many of them? Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you how many you've used already. Okay, let's definitely use this one. Excellent. There's our bloody tear. 
Unfortunately, that uh, beacon thing is going to... Uh, take up the last item slot, so... I mean, it's, it's really not a big deal. I think we're doing just fine. Hey! Look at that. Thank you. But the vampire is in another coffin. <clears throat> Crewmate Dino joins the survivors. Alright, cool. <laughs> um, it'd be worth a lot of XP to go and get that. Uh, get that attract orb. So, I think it's worth it. Dude, we're about to get so much XP here in a few seconds. Because there's just so much on the ground all over the place. Or maybe not. Maybe it just doesn't count anymore. <laughs> Look at all of our little guys trying so hard to keep up. How do I get in? How do I get into this building? Open says I. Don't touch the cannon. <laughs> what cannon? <laughs> Why do I have knives? I'm very confused right now. Genuinely confused. Um, where is this little guy? It's like, down here? It's the mechanic or something? Engineer. Might occasionally electrocute enemies. Oh, do some of the little guys, like, have... No. Oh. There. Okay. Let's hurry. I do want to get these because they're, like... They seem to all be five chests, and, you know, five chests are nice. But first, <laughs> you come here. Fight our way through. I mean, I think we'll be fine, honestly. Um, and spinach is fine, I guess. It doesn't even feel like we're taking any damage right now. It's kind of. Uh, uh, I do like playing the overpowered player or characters just to like see how far you, uh, how like many you can just annihilate. All the five chests are nice, but it does feel a bit overpowered to uh, give the player this many. Oh, there's another one. Okay, oops. Let's hurry. We might still be able to make this one. The game must not give you... Uh, Uh, 
I forget where the opening is. Yeah, I don't think there's an opening on this side. Uh, we'll see. It's a good thing we don't have to worry about, like, running into enemies at all. <laughs> Okay. Okay, maybe the the special chests actually do give you uh the evolved form of weapons. It didn't seem like they were. Or at least it didn't give us the last one. Okay. Uh yep, let's take that and that should give us the evolved nope, of course not. Oh, right, because we weren't done with Pumarola yet. Gotcha. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's definitely get Pumarola. Um, there is another chest back over here, so let's go ahead and grab that. Excellent. So, I'm curious, does this, uh, beacon thing actually have, like, a... an evolve form? Doesn't look like it. Alright, we are still missing one little guy, so let's go and try and get that I like how they, they're all color coordinated and they're all leaving a little spot open for the, uh, the yellow one. It's very nice. Very sweet of them. Kill the imposter! Oh wait, that's not how that game works. Mm, this game works. <laughs> Actually, that's how this game works. It's... In, uh, in Among Us, it's kill everyone else besides the imposter. You just banish them off the island, right? But I think that's how uh, Among Us works. I only played, like, maybe one or two rounds of it. It was okay, but unfortunately, I think it's better, like, it, it was probably better when you played with other people. Or, well, when you played with people that you knew. Because playing with randoms was just not very fun. <laughs> I occasionally freeze enemies in fear. Okay, cool. And we have all seven of them. Um, well, I guess always go... Jeez! How much... XP did we just pick up? Jeez. There's a lot of levels. We could probably go after the uh, the rings now. We got about 10 minutes <laughs> still. So, and I'm not too afraid of us dying at this point. The famous last words, obviously. But. Um, I don't think there's really anything else to get right now. Oh! Ooh! Evolved Life Sign Scan. Periodically grants a random stat. 
Okay. So do you just get that once you level it up all the way? Does it say? No, no. I wonder if... Okay. Interesting. I'm surprised that it uses the yellow one. I wonder, does it... Does it use whichever one you got last? Is it random? Is it set to that just that yellow one? I don't know. Those are those are the questions that will need to get answered. Get away from me. Yeah, you can tell that the, uh, already killed that, uh, ring guy. Yeah, you could tell when the, uh, the 20 minute mark hit because all the enemies got, like, super squished in. Oh, uh, apparently we missed the egg. I think we missed the egg. Um... Yeah, I mean... This point, I mean... I suppose we could go and get that Arcana chest that's still laying around. Pull all. I don't think I've ever seen that money bag before. Like, I've seen it, obviously, I've seen it um, in the roulette screen for the chest, but, or on the level up screen. Guess I increased my luck somehow. Maybe I picked up a clover by accident. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to go this way. Thank you for giving me exactly what I want. Jeez. Money, 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 money. So much money. I love money. <laughs> keep, keep, keep coming. So I'm guessing it's the little guys that are making, like, the bones and the uh, knives and the, like, garlic thing around me show up. I would assume so, based off of the fact that I don't know why else I would be having those. <laughs> Almost 24 minutes in.
Yeah, I think every time you get a level, it seems like they just all explode. Ooh. Okay. So what do we want? Um... I have so many options. <laughs> uh... Um... Well, let's see. Pentagram probably wouldn't be bad in, at this point. I mean, I think Pentagram actually works pretty well for what we're doing. We're going to level up pretty quickly, even with it, you know, destroying everything. It's always interesting to find, like, a candy box every once in a while. It's one of those few, few occasions where you can actually get more weapons than what you normally would be allowed. Uh, what the frick was that? That is horrifying. Well, so much for, uh, getting, getting pentagrams super leveled up fast. Ah! Don't touch me. I don't know where those tentacles have been. It doesn't seem to have much of a hitbox, though. We're about to get another... Summon here in a second. Yep. No. <laughs> Hold my XP. Ah, I think it was hitting me. I guess I was clipping the top of it or something. Uh, I guess. I mean, I don't really want it, but. No, oh, it's fine. I saw it first. Okay, there's one tentacle. Yeah. Getting caught on the rocks down there. I suppose we could banish that one. I mean, there's no real need to have it. Yeah, is this like a end uh, tech boss, or is it like just you were in the right area, so it showed up? I'm curious how many of items we can actually get. I don't even know where the other two are right now. I mean, we might as well find them, right? Like, here's the gold ring. Here's the other arrow at... There we go. Nice, nice. Okay. 
have no clue where the other arrow is, so... <laughs> oh, here. Pick it up. Did I actually pick it up? Ooh, money. Money, money, money. Do like me some money. And we definitely need that money. Although, I guess at this point we probably don't need the money. I mean, it's mostly just unlocking new characters as they show up and just trying to fill out the... <laughs> fill out the uh, power-up table. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, clock lance lit or the laurels. There's so many of them. <laughs> Here comes the 30 minute, 30 minute mark. At this point, I'll just, uh, I'll stay right here. Sadness. I mean, we might as well revive. What the fuck is going on right now? Jesus. I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> I mean, we still have revives, so we might as well take them. This is going to be really fun when we actually do go clock Lancelot and, uh, whatever. How many revives? Seriously, how many revives do we have? Are we the imposter? Are we unkillable now? We might as well see how many, uh, how, how many of these we can go. I mean, if we have the, uh, 190 some levels is just kind of ridiculous. Did we actually kill it? Okay, I was gonna say. I feel like we did kill it, though. Like, maybe we killed the first one and then the second one showed up. That it? That's it. Okay. <laughs> we got seven achievements. Wow. Okay. So we found it opened the coffin. Uh, get the life sign scan to level seven. Evolve the life sign scan. Defeat a total of 6,000 suspicious looking enemies. Defeat the suspicious eyes in Polis. Uh, find the Polis map. And then obviously survive 15 minutes with that thing, that weapon.
Eesh. Okay. I'm I'm curious, like what are some of these other achievements? Single run with imposter reap. Okay. Evolve the clear debris. Defeat one enemy with ghost Leno. I feel like I, I'm curious now what the uh what that entails. But uh we're gonna have to find that out in a future part. So I believe in the next part we will be doing Genevieve. So uh oh, we might as well unlock the couple of characters that we did find. Um, yeah, in the next part, we're going to be doing Genevieve. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.